All right, we've got some people trickling in, but we have a uh, packed agenda and try to keep it just to 30 minutes for you all. So we will go ahead and get started. Welcome to Scribe Sessions, our webinar all about page templates. Um, my name is Meg. I am a product marketer here at Scribe and I am joined, Rana, if you don't mind just hitting the next slide. I am joined by my colleague, Rana. She's a product manager here at Scribe and the mastermind behind a lot of the beautiful releases that you see in Scribe. And we are so excited to be joined with one of our absolute favorite users, Quantel Mosley. Um, she has just been doing some really, really incredible things with pages. So we, of course, had to bring her on to the webinar to share that all with you. So um, what are we going to be covering today? Uh, next slide. So as I mentioned, we've got a packed agenda. So we'll start um, by just kind of making sure that we build the foundations around pages. We understand you maybe are a page super user, or maybe this is the first time you've even heard about pages. So we'll give an overview about what they are. And then we'll talk about the template aspect. So when and why should you turn a page into a template? Rana will walk us through a demo on how to actually create a page uh, and then templatize it. And she'll actually be focusing on doing that for client use case. And then, as I mentioned, Quantel will join us and share uh, a bunch of information about how she uses templates, as well as show you the actual templates that she uses. So super excited. Uh, Rana, I will go ahead and pass it off to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Meg. Um, and so excited to share more about pages with everyone today. So as we know, scribes are great for kind of explaining a single flow pretty quickly and easily, clear and to the point. We all know and love it. Um, but other times you may need more than one scribe or have multiple scribes created for the same tool or a specific process. And so we launched pages to help you kind of organize multiple scribes together in a single document and, and simplify the sharing process. So no need to go through and grab the link for each and every scribe. Just put them all in one page and send that out. Um, and with pages, you can add additional context to those scribes. So who this process is for, what is it about, basically summarize any additional context your users might need to know before going through the process themselves. And then not only can you add scribes to pages, but you can actually enrich your page with um, bulleted or numbered lists, headers, rich text edits for to include, you know, bold, italics, hyperlinks, um, add images or videos, basically anything to better support your page and fully inform your users. Um, so pages can be used as you need them to be, but let's take a look at um, some examples on the next slide. So uh, pages are used for a lot of different use cases. So here are a few great pages examples that we've seen work well. Um, so we know that the average team uses, you know, dozen to 50 tools. And even within those tools, there are dozens of new uh, features, configurations, setups, basically things to, to learn. Um, so you can create a page that encompasses all of your scribes on creating your team or getting your team set up and running with the brand new tool. Um, for customer onboarding, you want to give each one of your customers kind of personalized white glove service um, and try to give them all of the information that they need to be successful with your tool and successful in getting your teams uh, getting started with the tool. Um, and then standard operating procedures or SOPs, which Quantel will share more about towards the second half of, of the session. And uh, of course, um, all of the previous page examples are, are much more valuable if you only need to create them once, and then you can reuse them for, for each new tool, for each new customer, each new process. Um, and with pages templates, this becomes so much faster. Uh, so to create a page template, it's as simple as creating the page as usual, um, duplicating it and making any small revisions and then sharing it out. And you have your own custom page without the effort of creating a brand new document each time. Um, all right, so I think we are good to see this in action. So we'll, we'll start by creating a page first and we'll go with the kind of customer or client onboarding use case to get someone new to Scribe set up. So let me pull up my workspace. Um, so I'll go over to new and then create a page. So let's give it a title. We'll say getting started with Scribe. And the main way to add content to a page is through the slash menu. So um, let me use one of the headers to say, come uh, to Scribe. Um, and then you know, we're, we'll add some context here to give users kind of like a, a nice little welcome. We'll say, we're excited to get you going. Here are some resources that will be helpful throughout your Scribe journey. And so I'll end my scribes now. So I'll let me click on this block here. Let's do an overview. 
um, we'll do an overview of scribe documents. Um, and then something neat that, is that you have different ways of displaying the scribe card, depending on how you want to organize your page. So um, selecting the card will set it to medium by default, but we also have the small and medium view, which um, if you click on the scribe, it'll actually show you the scribe in the slide out here where users can follow along. And then we also have the large embed view option um, that users can kind of like click through to um, follow along. So let's add in, let's switch this back to a medium. Let's add in, let me just add in a few more scribes here. Let's do overview of the, let's do a dashboard. We'll add in one more. Uh, let's do overview of teammates for scribe. Cool. Um, and then you can actually rearrange them a bit too by selecting the drag icon over on the left here. So I'll move the dashboard maybe to the top. Great. Cool. This is looking pretty good. Um, and then actually, let me let me just add in a video too. We want to get um, kind of a cool, customized, uh, interactive video at the beginning. Um, so I can just copy and paste this YouTube URL in here, and now things are looking good. Um, so before I send it out, there are a few more things that I can do to actually customize my page. So I can actually change the page icon and the color to match maybe our branding colors and select an icon that makes more sense based on the content in the page. And then also in the page options, I can open this up and I can select colors to kind of have this beautiful gradient set based on uh, branding colors. I can use this fun like randomized element to get some neat colors in there. Uh, and this is looking good to share. So that's how you would be creating a page. Um, and now there's a few ways that you can actually get a template set up. Um, so one way to duplicate the page is, is selecting the duplicate button at the top, which will prompt you to kind of select um, which team you want to move this or duplicate the scribe to, and whether you want to link or reference the scribes that are in the page or replace them with um, placeholder scribes. And um, Placeholder scribes kind of function as a name. Um, they're basically a blank scribe placeholder and have a text field to add descriptions to. Um, and this is really useful if you're um, pre-planning what content will live in a page and you have yet to create it. Uh, it's also useful if you want to outline what needs to be added in to complete the guide uh, for others to duplicate and then fill in later. So um, let's see here. I can also um, actually set up my current page as a template by easily replacing these scribes in here with placeholder scribes. So in order to do that, I will um, insert a placeholder. So here I can say like add a um, scribe that shows an overview of the dashboard. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Dashboard. There we go. So. Um, Basically, this will have this kind of effect of a placeholder scribe that you can then replace. Um, and there are two ways to kind of replace the scribe content once, in the, once it's in there. The first way is to select it as you would normally do, and it brings up the search. Um, the second kind of more magical way is if you copy and paste the URL of the scribe itself, and it automatically transforms that into the scribe card. So um, it's a little hard to see here, but I basically have the URL copied, and then I can just paste it in here, and it turns into a scribe card. Um, and so now our template is ready to be used. Um, and you no longer have to start from scratch. You can duplicate an existing page that you've already created in the past or one that's shared with you and save a ton of time when you're building documentation. So let me turn it back over to Meg now. Anything else to add to that? No, I think um, maybe, Rana, if you want to walk through like uh, the different ways that you can duplicate so you can duplicate your yep. own etc yep yep so we've got the um there's two kind of like entry points into duplicating content um so one if you have the link to a page um either it's sent to you or you reference it within your workspace if you are actually in the page itself um you've got the duplicate page button up here back in my workspace um there's also the the try dot menu which brings up the same modal if you select duplicate to team so two ways to to duplicate a page and um create edits, add in the placeholders and, and share it out. Yeah, perfect. I think one thing that um, we've heard a lot of excitement across our user base so far about pages and being able to duplicate them <clears throat> is that, especially for teams where let's say you're on a customer facing team and one of your team members has created a page that you send to clients when they get onboarded with your new tool, your teammates, as long as they're using Scribe, they can easily duplicate that. And then you can either create numerous versions for different clients that you might be supporting, or each team member might have their own you know, style, they like video or something like that. 
Um, once you duplicate, it's your own and you can make whatever edits. So you can duplicate your own pages, a teammate's pages. You might com come across some pages that on the internet, for example, you can actually duplicate those as long as you can view them. So lots of really exciting ways to do that. So, all right. We've got some great questions in the chat. Our team is on it. Uh, answering those. So we can actually just go ahead and move into the interview section with Quantel. Um, Quantel, hello. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. I'm excited. First scribe session. So Quantel, um, I thought before we dive into all the scribe goodness that you're about to share, do you mind just introducing yourself and your company? Yes. So my name is Quantel Mosley, and I am creator and founder of Quantel Latte, which is an online business management company that helps business owners with their marketing operations and systems. And awesome. the type of clients that I work with are functional medicine practitioners. I work with master cosmetologists and barbers and accountants and coaches and lawyers and e-commerce brands. So you can imagine with such a large pool of clients, um, one thing that I've noticed that is very consistent, even though all of my clients are versatile, is that every business always needs processes and systems. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can guess what you're going to answer this with, but um, can you just share with us, like, what are some of your biggest challenges in your day-to-day -day working with these clients? So as an online business manager, um, most of the time I'm the person that has to implement the processes and the procedures. And so being the enforcer, um, the traditional ways of writing SOPs, that's kind of hard because even you, like as the enforcer, you're like, before Scribe, I had to like go through the entire process of writing everything manually, getting screenshots. And so if I dreaded the process, I know that my teams would also dread the process as well. So I try to find easier ways and quicker ways to like try to implement SOPs because they were very crucial within the company. And so um, that's how I ended up finding Scribe. I ended up having um, a search inside of Google and end up finding them within a Facebook group. And I typed in step-by-step -step process generator. And I was, I was truly in love when I did find it because it was like, there's now there's an easier way to actually write Scribe. So I was really happy about that. So you mentioned the way that you were doing SOPs before mm -hmm. and you were like literally in Word documents, manually typing in step-by-step -step instructions and adding in screenshots. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so I was adding in screenshots. I was, if they didn't like um, Word docs, then we were using Google docs. And yes, yeah, so it was a very manual process with that. Wow. Do you know roughly like how much time you were spending on these things before? <laughs> I couldn't even tell you. It was a lot of time. I know at one point, because I was working with so many businesses, like it took me almost a month to like complete my SOPs, just trying to get through all of the businesses um, with the different processes that they had. So I had to find very quick ways and like try to maneuver it. Um, every single time I would like, I would take advantage of the opportunity. Like if I was in the middle of doing something, oh, this would be a good opportunity to get a screenshot. Like that's, that's my mind. That's where my mindset started going because mm -hmm. I had to do so many different SOPs. So, okay. Okay. So now you've found Scribe. Life's good again. <laughs> Can you talk us through how you use Scribe to solve some of the SOP challenges that you had before? Yeah. So, um, when it comes to business, I feel like implementing systems is like a form of self care. So, when you also implement systems and then have automations attached to those systems, that is a game changer. So for me, my entire business is automated from the time someone inquires with me, they get an email, everything in my business was automated, except for my SOPs and the processes that I had with my SOPs. So when I found Scribe, Scribe has allowed me to actually automate my SOPs as well. And that's been a game changer for me because Whenever I'm doing the SOPs, I can quickly do them. And then it's also helpful with collaboration with the team that I have as well, because it we can go in, easily change items. If they we have to redo a scribe, it's not like we have to restart all over again. They can just quickly start the record button and add it to the scribe. And it's been really amazing to have. So, mm -hmm. okay, very cool. And talk to us about how you use pages. 
So with pages, um, when it comes to pages, I have been using them as my actual SOP template. So let me share that with you, what that looks like here. So. Can you all see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so previously I would just use pages and I would come in here and like recreate this every single time. But now that pages has added the duplication feature, I can come in here and I can have a standalone template that I use. So all of my templates always include a video because I'm a, I'm, I'm really a power user for real, because I record <laughs> my video and also describe at the same time. So this is really amazing to have the automations all in one place. So before I even hit record on the video, I hit record on scribe and then I start the video because I can edit that part out. So I will edit the video, um, I will record the video, add all the information as far as my department, my purpose, my prerequisites, my process. The process to me is the most important part because it lets me know what I need to be writing out and it allows for me to be able to create the procedure. And then from there, after I've done, I've actually filled in all of my details, I then actually use the scribe itself as the procedure part. So specifically, I use the page itself as my entire SOP, and then I use the scribe as my procedure part to write out the actual steps of what the, the SOP is. Mm -hmm. So this has been a major time saver for me because now that scribe has added the placeholders, if my team has to come in here and they could just easily duplicate the actual page of the SOP SOP template that we use, and then they can come in here, add their changes, and then because they've previously recorded their scribes, it's just a matter of popping them inside of there. Mm -hmm. So this has been really helpful when it comes to having pages. And now because of this very feature and having the duplication feature, I've moved all of my SOPs to the scribe platform. So scribe is now hosting my SOPs and it's also the creator of my SOPs. Love it. Yeah, the, uh, the video piece, we've actually heard from other users as well that they get so savvy, especially client facing that they'll create a video while they're recording their scribe. And we started hearing that now we, we do it internally too. Like we'll be on a meeting and somebody will be showing how to do something in a tool we're using. And we're like, create a scribe, create a scribe. It's super exactly. helpful. It's like totally killing two birds with one stone. It really um, is. Okay, amazing. And I was wondering if you don't mind, can you just give us some like examples examples of what types of procedures you're actually creating scribes on or what types of SOPs you're building? Yeah, so when it comes to this, it could be um, operations, it could be marketing, it could be sales. Um, and so it could be a varies of things, especially if you're doing a lot of project work. So the SOPs, like say, for instance, if I had a project that I had just completed for someone for their data measurement or their marketing um, mm -hmm. you need to be able to show them videos of how that actually works in the whole, in the entire process. Um, and also if you're handing it off to their team. So a lot of business owners are like, just give it to my VA or just give it to my, you know, marketing assistant. And so the marketing assistant is like, uh, I don't know what to do with this. So you're handing it over to them. And so Scribe has made that process easier. So whenever I'm handing off a project, I'm told, I'm showing them what their back end looks like. This is what happens if the system breaks down. This is what happens that you should do when you do this. So they have all the SOPs in place. And then just every, you know, day standard operating procedure, such as, you know, how to, you know, how to put a date on the office out of, you know, out of office calendar, or how to make sure that you, um, make sure that you add an email signature to your Gmail account. Like it's small stuff like that for day to day, but the SOPs can definitely vary between the different departments within the business, such as marketing, the operations and the system. So. Awesome. And I'm so curious when you hand these um, pages or scribes off to VAs or marketing assistants, what are their reactions when they go through it? Is it do they ever have follow-up questions? Is it pretty easy for them to follow along? That's what I love about Scribe and like actually using pages instead of like putting them um, in a Google Doc. Now here, don't get me wrong, because I love everything about Google. So I'll show you a template here that I previously used. So what I used to do is just take, let's just say, for instance, a Google Doc. And because I use Scribe quite heavily, 
I would take it and have all of my items in Google Docs. So I don't know if anyone's been looking at Google Docs, but they've made a lot of changes to their docs. So you can add drop downs now, you can add like smart tables. It's insane how much you can do in here. But I love Scribe. And one of my favorite features about them is that you can export the Scribe. And so you can just copy and paste the actual Scribe that you just created and put it in here. So instead of this, um, before I had pages, I would, as you can see here with the placeholders, I love that you can see this and pop it up. I love this part. But if you're in a Google Doc, you technically can't do that. You just see the screenshot. So this is more of the traditional way of doing SOPs. And there, again, there's nothing wrong with this because there are still a few clients that I have that love this process. And I still do this for them. And there's nothing wrong with this. But it shows you the versatility of Scribe because you're able to embed them pretty much um, in any platform as long as they have an embedding tool. But what I've loved about using the actual pages and also hosting um, my SOPs inside of pages is that now when users look at this and they pop this up, I always get the comments, oh, you fancy. Oh, you <laughs> like, this is amazing. Like, everyone's <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you're on some next level stuff. And I'm like, no, it's not me. It's the system. Like, it's it's really, <laughs> it's made my life easier. So, but it it's, it's easier for the person who is creating. And it's also easy for the person who is receiving the information and they have to go through the steps. And I love this pop out for Scribe because you can look at it and then also still be in the midst of your work if you need to have it. So you can maximize it, minimize it, and it's made it very easy for the person who is going through the SOP. That's awesome. And just to clarify for anyone on the line who doesn't know what um, Quantel is showing in the Google Docs. So for Scribes, we also give you the option to export um, like a HTML or markdown code. And this is for pro and enterprise users only. But if you are one of those, or you've been looking for this functionality, it takes basically all of the text and screenshots that you see in your scribe. And you can actually like plop that into a Google doc or a doc, anything like that. So that's what she was showing there. Yep. All right. Well, um, by the way, anyone in the audience who has questions for Quantel, feel free to pop them in the chat. Um, but Quantel, I'm curious for, so you're showing us your SOP templates. Are there any other creative ways or things that you're thinking of doing with pages and templates? Yes. So because I work with so many different businesses, everyone has their own style. So I'm just going to share with you all a few other ways that people are using this. So let's just say, for instance, if your team prefers to use a um a employee handbook type platform like Trainual. So an example of this is if you go to Trainual, I can actually embed the entire page here. So again, the embed feature is a game changer because you're just like, oh, this is what I can do. So you can put this inside of Trainual. Um, my personal favorite, because I'm obsessed with Google Sites and I actually create them for my clients after a project, is giving them their own website or you could do this for your own team and then embedding all of the scribes within the actual Google site with it itself. And so you could have all the SOPs over here to the left and then you could send this off to the client and it makes them feel like you spent a lot of time on it when really all you did was just <laughs> embed. So that's an amazing option as well. And for those who want to use like project management tools like ClickUp, the, again, the embed feature would be a great option to do that as well because you can embed the scribe inside of the Google Doc. I'm sorry, not the Google Doc, but inside of the actual ClickUp Doc because ClickUp has Docs as well now. So awesome. And just to show people how to actually grab that embed code, um, Quantel, if you don't mind, just hit that share button. Mm -hmm. So when you start creating pages, um, all you have to do is click share and then we'll generate this embed snippet under the smart embed tab when the share modal pops up. So yeah, just click copy and you can put this anywhere that accepts iframe codes. You can see some great examples of logos that a lot of our users embed pages in. But again, if if this tool that you're using accepts iframe code, you can embed your pages there. You can also do the same with scribes and that's available for all users. Yep. Cool. Anything else, Quantel, that you feel like the people would wanna know, you wanna share with us? I think that's it. I think I hope that people like get creative with this just because it's just not a traditional way to do SOPs anymore. And I think when people like think about SOPs, they cringe because they're just like, oh, Lord, I got to go through that entire process. And 
this is a new way of doing things and it opens up your mind to be like I can actually get this process knocked out in no time and it's very quick for me so I really hope that people start using this in a way that they're like you know what I can do that like I can take about five minutes because I'm doing it anyway so I can take five minutes and have it completed and then just write my steps even if you have a whole bunch of steps if you just record the scribe and the video too at the same time you can go back and write the steps and it'll be great for you but this has saved so much time and I love 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 talking about it it's like one of my favorite things to talk about just because everyone's like oh, I don't have SOPs in place. And, I'm, and the first question I ask them is why? And then they're like, it just takes so much time. And I'm like, but look at this. And so <laughs> the moment I say that, they're like, I've never seen anything like this. So I think I love the reaction of people when they first find it more than I actually do when it comes to like doing this stuff. I'm like, I just want to see your reaction. <laughs> like, And everyone's totally. always blown away totally. So yeah. It, it's a it's a fun tool to be able to share with other people. I know I, I when I showed my mom it, uh, she's in marketing and her thing was like creating the documentation the first time is not a big deal. It's the updating piece that drives people crazy. And I think that's like just a huge thing that Scribe helps do too. And with the pages, you can easily swap in and out Scribes. You can update your Scribes, just make sure it's up to speed exactly and the fact that scribe allows for you to like put oh did you forget something and then they'll have like the option where you can record like right in the middle of that SOP mm -hmm. and um, that scribe and just put it in there like that's huge because you you can't do that with a traditional SOP you have to go back through and just like okay I forgot this screenshot let me add this and oh let me resize this but there's just so many capabilities like within the platform you can edit you can mark you know you can blur things out that you didn't want to see maybe you had your beautiful kid in the background and you didn't want someone to see that while you're doing the scribe you could mark that out so <laughs> the pro features are amazing so yeah Cool. Well, thank you, Quantel. This has been awesome. I hope it was really helpful for folks on the line just to see how advanced you are um, with pages and how you're thinking about approaching your business using pages and templatizing them and all that. So thank you very much for being here and sharing your story. And um, I think if we don't have any more questions, um, we can probably wrap up. Rana, anything else on your end? No. Uh, this is great. And thank you again, Quantel, for spending the afternoon with us. Thank yeah. you for having me. I love you guys. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> the feeling is mutual. Well, thank you, Quantel. Thanks, Scribe team. And thank you, everybody on the line. It was so great for you to join our first Scribe session. We will be in touch with what's coming up next as it relates to our webinars. But hopefully this was helpful and we are super appreciative of you joining us. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.